Okay, right. How these engines were and why a fire are free fire. The answer is the third law of motion. The third law of motion states that for a reaction there's an equal and opposite reaction. One application of this law is the water water rocket. Water water rocket is a type of water rocket using water as its reaction mass. The water is formed by a pressurized gas, typically compressed there. The same concept was used for this water powered car. A 10 liter water dispenser bottle was used, which was then partially filled with water and pressurized. When the pressure is released, the force by which the water leaves the nozzle is equal and opposite to the forward force exerted on the car. Now that we had explained the scientific concept behind this project, we will show you how it works. This is the project, which is attached to the plywood. Attached to the plywood, there are four wheels. This is the launcher, and this is the plastic tubing uh, that connects to the bike pump. To allow us to generate the required level of pressure, a lock was needed. The lock works like this. The cable type holds the, the pipe and the launcher together. After the required level of pressure is obtained, the lock is released using the score. Now I will show you the car on the move. of pressure were used. Keeping all the other factors the same, therefore we could obtain a fair test. Distance, tra distance traveled by the car was then measured and recorded. Repeated readings were taken and results were then used to plot a graph pressure against distance traveled. We hope you enjoyed this power, this water power car. Woo! Stop it. <laughs>